evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The world-famous Camp Nou in Barcelona, a stadium fit for the grandest of occasions. A moment of great pride, the anthems. Iran have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too. And that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. We have already started here. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, I'd go for Burak Yilmaz because he takes plenty of boxes. He's aerially strong, he's good on the ball, links up well with the runners around him, and he has a certain amount of dead ball expertise too. There aren't many boxes left here. I think the opposition defence... That's surely a foul free kick. Not taking him long, and that's going to be a booking. And it's Yilmaz. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. Receives it in a good position. Turkey can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Gets his foot in there. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. And it's been taken straight back. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. They're not going to make any further progress now. Battles to win it back. And now they can launch a counter. Gets the better of his man. And it's played forward. Oh, shooting chance! And that has been clubbed away. Just brushed off the ball there. He's done it on the right now. What's on? A good challenge. Stood up well against his man. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Now it's Burak Yilmaz. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Forward it goes. Hossun is on to it and can take it up. So who's he picking out? Going through. And he has been fouled there. And the ref 
Ruth's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Massive leap! And the whistle goes for half time. So the other team has broken through. It's not for the want of trying. Interesting game up to now. But still goals. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil nil here at half time. The second half gets underway. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Has a hit! And for a moment, time stood still. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. Michel Hanolu. Defenders on the back foot. Looking to force his way through. He's going for goal! Oh, it's a foul there, right on the edge of the box. No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and... You have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. We have the first dead ball situation of the game, promising one. He's gone for the shots! Real chance! Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. Yazigi. Good idea, just poorly executed. Walk forward. What does he try from here? Shoots! He scores! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. Looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. A 1-0 lead established. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now, a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? Yazigi. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Could move up a gear here. Gets away from his opponents. Iran are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Well, his stealth has been compromised because of his goal, and his treatment from here looks as if it could get a little tighter. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Calderim finds him... The referee's awarded a free kick. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. He's left his man. Has a hit! It's in! 
a two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. Really outwitted one-on-one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, and he knew all along what he wanted to do, and it's a really great instinctive finish. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Hoists it forward. And there goes the final whistle. The run and victory here, and on balance they were worth it. Can how do you reflect on what we've seen? Iran have some very strong runners from midfield, and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that, but this was very impressive, the way they cut through the heart of that defence. Well, thanks to Jim, we both wish you a very good evening.